this week, it's the Eagles and the Jaguars on Sunday night. Well, the sun is set. There's still plenty of light in the city for this prime time contest. We've waited all day for this one, haven't we, Brock? It's time for the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Up here in the booth, I'm Kate Scott, alongside Brock Hewitt. Brock, now that we're into the November portion of our season, we've got a pretty good picture of these teams. And we still expect these teams to be from here on out. Yeah, no question about it. They're through the opening rounds, and this is a boxing match, right? And the season long fight early issues that work through, at least you hope so. And this is where they have to be in that room as we push through the heart of the season. Any team, team with hopes beyond week 18, they got to be figured out. They figure out who they are and what they are right now. Their biggest strengths and their most glaring weaknesses. And this game, it's about emphasizing those strengths, finding those weaknesses, playing some winning football. And this will give them a decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. Well, here come the Eagles for their opening drive. They're led out by a QB coming into his fifth NFL season out of Oklahoma. It's Jalen Hurts. It's a QB, QB in this league. league. If you're going to finish a game with no touchdowns on the side of the stat sheet, well, you better finish it with no interceptions as well. Even if last week was an uneventful contest for him throwing the football, he did what he needed to do to help them come away with the most important stat, the win. On first down, no run. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold on the line. Progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Throwing with a blitz on the way. That's into the hands of Barkley. And he's brought down after a nice game and a first down. To this day, you can still see the faces of the big guys in Ottawa. You call a screen like that. Instead of them just getting young back points, they get to be sales. They get to push those on the field and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. He's got Smith. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very high field and creates space. Take that shot downfield. Running for the marker on second. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Third down, one yard to go. They go to Bart again. And he has to go to the before they make the stop. That's good for seven yards. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Win the early round. Get the little numbers. Old man wins out the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Trying to throw here into the gun. And that pass complete to Gunner. And he's marked down. It looks like at the 32-yard line. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Now a pause to attend to an injured player. This is a worrying sight. It is Saquon Barkley who is hurt on the play. Now their opening drive is certainly going according to plan, Brock. It's a new set down at the 27. Hurts looking to throw. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he falls through the defense for a touchdown. They couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense takes it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives came for such tone centers. It is why every offense wants to strip their first 15 plays. Like everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. Now Jake Kelly had on to attempt the extra point. Now they Elliot 
That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of leads you right there on the first down. Except the entirety of the playbook for second down. Third and short, you're out of pocket and get even more aggressive to take that shot. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. We'll get a stop now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run. He needed some attention. Still on the move. Coming alive for first and ten. They go right back to EGN. And he's blocked down by a collective effort there. Only one yard on the carry. They'll come to the line here. Second and nine. Washington, the motion man here. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Got Washington, it's complete. And this play reaches the 12 yard line before the stop is made. Third down, one yard to go. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. He's got it. And he'll go down to the end zone. They mark him at the four. They find seven yards, and now they've got first and goal. sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. His return starts at the five. And great starting field position here as they bring him down beyond the 40. When you get contributions like that and you kick off returner, it is such a boost to an offense. This is about showing no fear. Hitting the lane hard, a determined run back, and setting your offense up with great field position. Hurts. He puts a air under a deep throw to the left. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. They'll run now on second down. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, Coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. That's complete. Here's Brown. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. And with a half of football left to play, we can see already how close he is to that 100-yard mark in this game. Got to think that he stands a good chance of reaching it with plenty of time left to go. From the 37. That's into the hands of Barkley. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. The big play and that's him 17 yards. And that's a Philadelphia first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. They'll run here on first down. And he'll go down here at the 16. Even four that time, so six to go on second down. It's the two-minute warning now from the link. The Eagles hoping to grow their lead before halftime. Second and six coming up here. From the 16. Vacates quickly left side. This one's caught. Touchdown! The Eagles grow their lead just before halftime. So 
to rock this offense. Looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Elliot on now to attempt the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. ready to begin this drive first and ten now Lawrence finding Davis and he's gonna get stopped right around the 45 yard line Jags working fast here trying to get back to the line he's on the move he's running with it and they bring him down around the 34 and that's an 11 yard pickup and it gives them the first down and now it's Lawrence couldn't bring it in over the middle incomplete looking for his wide receiver there and that'll bring up second down throwing from the gun it'll try to force it into the slant it's intercepted Picked off Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Going down the middle, as you can see, you're giving them a real chance at making that pick. Might be a case of trying to force one where he shouldn't have. And you're sure hoping as a quarterback you learn your lesson on that one. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Another try following the sack. He's got it near the end. And he gets the first before he's down. The Eagles decide to spend their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And the defender comes away with it. And the Jaguars 
Bucks will take over as this gets brought out to the 20-yard line. Well, that's it right there. That's the resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. Probably looking at our final snap of the half here on first down. And he takes a knee. We're at halftime here in Philadelphia, and the Eagles have soared to a lead at the break. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to Orlando. Turn things over to our buddy Jonathan Coachman in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. As mentioned, this is the EA Sports Halftime Report. Time to take a look around the NFL and find out what's going on this fine Sunday. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Aaron Rodgers, strong in the win as his guys start the second half with a victory that moves them to 6-3 and three on the year. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were winners in their ball game over the visiting Dallas Cowboys. Kirk Cousins leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Finally, on Monday Night Football, Election Night Eve, the Super Bowl rematch from a few years back, Bucks and Chiefs from Arrowhead. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. These two teams heading out of the tunnel. We're ready to get back to it. For the call of the second half, here is the great Kate T. Scott. Kate, As these two always, teams making their final adjustments for the second half during the break. Kids, it's time to get to back at y'all back for the, the start call of our third quarter. quarter. Kate Scott and Rock Hewitt. Elliot Jell set for the kickoff. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Jaguars returning their offense and this running back to the field. And you know who the ball is going to when they reach the red zone. He's currently top five across the NFL in rushing scores this season. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Second down now, seven to go. From the 29. A lot of speed on it. Too tough to handle. Incomplete. Christian Kirk, the intended receiver. So it'll be third down. Here's Lawrence to throw. He's going to try to drop it in deep right. He's got it inside the 25. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville! The Jaguars cut into the lead coming out of halftime. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period, yeah. end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. The Jaguars will line up He's throwing for it. And they get the two-point conversion. Nice catch in the end zone there. They're back within a field goal now. Critical two-point play there, Brock. The conversion puts them now in range of tying this sucker up with a field goal. So different for everybody in the building, right? A three-point game, and especially different for the kicker. He wasn't needed there. But get yourself ready. Your defense does the job. You may need a game-tying field goal at some point soon. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. That 100-yard mark, it's as coveted by receivers as it is by running backs. And he's now reached it with that last catch. They're out and set. First and 10. Option give here. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big game and a new set of downs. They managed 22 on the rip and a first down. 
Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the old line, let's give them a little love right here, okay? They don't always get the attention they deserve on the broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. Only one play in, Brock, and this drive already to midfield. Hurts looking to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And they're going to stop him after he runs it inside the 35. Now a pause to attend to an injured player, and this is a worrying sight. It is Saquon Barkley who was hurt on the play. From the 34. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Hurts setting up to throw. Has a man. It's Brown. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. Make up a five on that play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Option design here. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. From the 27. An all-around tough play for him. He took a shot on the release, and it definitely affected the throw. It's incomplete. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Hurts. He's got it. Room to run. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. So after that completion, we've got a player in some visible discomfort. And here come the trainers to get him some help. So on fourth down, on comes the Eagles kicker, Jake Elliott, for the try. Ball on the left hash for this 41-yarder. And this isn't going to do it. The kick is no good. And they are unable to double their lead. Gosh, it didn't look like anything was wrong with that snap or hold either. He just rushed it a bit, and it winds up off the mark. They've got first down from the 31. Drive start to the quick throw left, complete. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Completed to Davis. And he'll get them enough for a first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. They'll give this up the middle to ETN. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Okay, don't think for a second this is time to step off the gas. You can feel this defense, right? They're on their heels. And now is the best chance to push the envelope and get aggressive. Ball on the 45, first and 10. They give it to him again. And all he can get is one yard, ran that right into the defensive front. Okay, this one you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. you got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, the casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. Second and nine. 
Design bootleg here. Falls to the ground, out left, incomplete. Can't cover it much better than that. Really well covered feed in that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Kick to the air, third and long. To the left sideline, complete. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. To the line we go. They're set, first and 10. Now it's Lawrence. He's got a man left. And he'll go down here at the 16. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. From the 16. The throw is caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars take a third quarter lead. It's a Christian Kirk touchdown. So that, Brock, an important score here as they move out in front. You know, Kate, this is the time of the game where fatigue starts to set in every once in a while. But that right there was a determined look and drive. They were not going to be denied and able to score and take the lead. On his Hopkins for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Jaguars ready to send this downfield. And away it goes. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now a shotgun handoff to Gainwell. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that's a Philadelphia first down. They stick with Gainwell. He finds some space again. And he has this show all the way down at the 29-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's good for an Eagles first down. Here's Hurts. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to throw. Hurts. Flushed out of the pocket. He's keeping it. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles take a third quarter lead. Jalen Hurts with the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end, Brock, the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain, he did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when the play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offense with confidence. All set for the kickoff. Kickoff taken at the three. And this drive will start inside the 25. 
The Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence set to take over on offense once again. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's ETN on the give. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. These are the kind of runs, Kate, that just soften up a defense. Keep working on them. Keep working on them. And eventually you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage. Here we go. Second and nine. That one falls incomplete, but our attention's still behind the line. He got cleaned after that throw and drew the instant flag. Man, there's no way around this, Brock. They had that Automatic offense exactly down. where they wanted them, and the penalty gives them a whole lot more breathing room. Yeah, I'm thinking of the late, great Dennis Green. He said it perfectly. We had him right where we wanted, and we let him off the hook. <laughs> And that carry gets him up to the 44 on a solid game. Solid four-yard game there, and now they've got second and six coming up. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Second and six coming up here. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Cut it deep behind the line. We're using this play to try for a first down, but also set up what's ever in your back pocket for third down. But you know what? Throw it all away. None of it matters now if you can't hang on to the doggone football. And the defense pounces on that one in a hurry. First and ten now from the 30. Throwing now, following the turnover. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When he saw the field, it's going to be second down. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. He breaks the tackle. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Here's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. Brings up third and five. Hurts the throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. And that leaves them with fourth and five. And that one is good. No problem at all. And that'll double their lead to six. Here in the third quarter, he gets a chance to make up for the miss on his first attempt of the game. This time, he is totally dialed in, and he gets this one to count. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. He's going to field this at the two. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now give. It's ETN headed left. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. That's the end of the third on Sunday night. It's Jaguars football. They trail, but it's still within reach. Oh, 
Second and three now. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's brought down at the line. All plays on the table here for third and three. Lawrence throwing here. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. First down, ball at the 36. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he works this to the 38 before going down. It's a pickup of 26. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. He finds the open man there, complete. And he will score! Touchdown, Jacksonville! The Jaguars come through to tie it in the fourth. A second touchdown through the air for him, Brock. And independent of the game situation, we both know he's going to be happy to leave the field with two of them in one game. One touchdown, you just might be right time, right place. But two touchdowns in a game is always about the preparation. The separations of the preparation. Mm. It's doing that work on the practice field and knowing before the game that when my number's called, I'm going to be there to deliver. That one right down the middle. And they'll take the lead. The Jaguars ready to send this downfield, and away it goes. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Philadelphia getting ready to go on offense. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Staying between the tackles with Gainwell. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? Hurts looking to throw. Rifles it and it's caught. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. Markers reset, ball at the 37. On first down, they'll run. And that carry only nets one on the plunge up the gut. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Got a man, coverage lost him, complete. Excellent pick up to move the chains, 36 yards in the end. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a quick punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. that short yardage slam just not going to happen there's a reason this is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation broke through the tackle and he works this to the 15 before they make the stop a pickup of two maybe three but most importantly brock that's enough to move the six that pass complete to goddard and he's brought down after a short game He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. 
Hey, I understand why this crowd and these fans were celebrating the touchdown, but not so fast. Catch, yeah, that looked good. But you gotta get both feet down, too. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Back now, pressure on its way. He's got it! And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he's not going to reach the end zone. They bring him down at the one. Only a yard that time. And now it's second and goal from the one. He has it on the QB sneak. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. Offense up to the line fast. He tries to sneak it. And he is into the end zone for a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles take a fourth quarter lead. Jalen Hurts with the touchdown. On a quarterback sneak to the end zone. They broke out the design, run for him there. Coach just tells him, hey, Brock, KQB, do your thing, get a six. Yeah, and these offensive coaches love this play, and defensive coaches hate it, Kate, because it really gives you an extra hat, right, an extra yeah. number when your QB's got the athleticism, got the legs, got the instincts to go run it in for six. A defensive nightmare, an offensive touchdown. Well, maybe stating the obvious part, I do that sometimes often, but tight ends, such a mismatch this close in. And no surprise, they went his way for that two-point conversion. Yeah, it's one of those guys, security blank. Whether he's designed, read, or not, this quarterback knows that tight end's a great outlet. Why? Because often they're bigger and they're stronger. Even if they're double team, there's still that chance to get that entry pass, like a great post in basketball. Mm -hmm. They know how to finish. Here's Lawrence to throw. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. That's an incredible sack kick from them. It does more than just back them up a mile on second down. There's an immediate sense of desperation that comes from an offense. You can just feel it as a quarterback in the huddle. When you take a half room down. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. On for the PAT, and a make would tie us up late. That one splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. The Jaguars ready to send this downfield, and away it goes. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Eagles and A.J. Brown getting set for another look on offense here. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in Philly. Eagles don't want to see this one go to overtime. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Throwing here. Hurts. No hesitation. And that one's caught. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards on the play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. 
Now to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And this one doesn't go far. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you could depend on. Second down now, seven to go. Throwing now. Open receiver, caught. And he's stopped at the 31 yard line. Weary of the clock here, Brock, but at least all their timeouts are still available. It's first and ten. Here's a give inside to Gainwell. Timeout taken by Jacksonville. It's second. Second down now, seven to go. Again, this is Gainwell. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Timeout taken by the Eagles. That's going to be their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. And it's a nickel set from the Jags on this third down. Another carry for him. And he's brought down for a loss. Philadelphia going to spend its second time out. Still one more in their pocket to use. A lot of room they need here. It's fourth and a long eight. Looking to throw it. He's got it to him yet again. That is cut. And he has it down in the eighth yard line of the play. Man, this has been such a great game. Nobody is ready for it to end just yet. After four quarters, we're headed to overtime. So as we go through this coin toss, Brock, I'm sure most of our fans know it, but this is something that can decide the game. If the team who gets it first scores a touchdown, the game is over. But if they only kick a field goal, their opponent gets it with a shot to win or tie. And if we play beyond those two possessions, the next score would then win. Gotta block that missed kick from their minds and refocus. Still a win to be had as overtime has begun. Kickoff taken at the three. Finds some space. He's past the 30. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. The Eagles ready to set up shop on offense. They couldn't quite get the job done in regulation. But the home crowd rising now to fire them up and help them finish the job right away in OT. First throw of overtime now. He lost it. Deep left. This is caught inside the 15. One of the game's biggest plays right there as they get the markers reset. Look at the touch he put on that throw down the field. That was a masterpiece. He was the artist behind it, laying it in the perfect spot to create the big play. So a massive gain, and all of a sudden, we've got first and ten inside the red zone. From the gun, a give to Gainwell. And that tackle stops him after a solid gain. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Hurts setting up to throw. Forced back to his right. 
Well, you don't get the first down, but I'll tell you this, Kate, that drives the defense and the defensive coordinator nuts. They do everything right, they win, and yet still QB makes something out of nothing. The handoff on third and short. And he's in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. The Eagles go up by six. Scott,